This is Math 142. This is a uh, final practice, question number two. And we were supposed to find uh, all six trig functions, uh, the exact values of these for, uh, for theta. And we know a couple things about theta. We already know the tangent is seven fourths. Uh, so we also know the cosecant is negative root 65 over seven. Um, so a couple things we can just know right away. If tangent seven fourths, uh, cotangent is four sevenths. And if cosecant is negative 65 over 7, uh, sine then must be uh, negative 7 root 65 over 65. Flip that and rationalize the denominator. Um, and we know a couple things here. We know um, that this is has to do with the cosine, this 4. Let's do a little sketch to kind of help us think about what's going on. Tangent's positive, so that means it's either here or here. But cosecant's negative, which means sine's negative, it means it must be going down. So our angle must terminate here in this third quadrant. So seeing that then, um, I know that root 65 is, is going to be uh, one way I could think about my radius. And if the sine has the negative 7 in it, that would be a negative 7. And this must be 4 then. And since tangent's positive, they have to both be negative. So then I can just see my other pieces right away. Uh, cosecant would be negative 4, 4 over root 65. Rationalize that denominator. It becomes this. And secant would be that flipped over, which would be negative root 65 over 4. That is